Hello and welcome back to EVE Online's 11th Alliance Tournament. This is day two and we've got a big Russian grudge match, Darkness of Despair versus MIF. And Darkness of Despair has brought the uh, very traditional Dominic setup now. Um, CCP Rise uh, is with me here. I'm CCP Fozzy. <laughs> Rise, what do you think of uh, this matchup? I don't know. I mean, I'm, I'm curious to see how it goes. Uh, kind of an old Rush setup format from MIF with uh, Slipner's. Uh, Hugin, which has been a little uh, less common in this tournament, and then Sabres uh, and Assault Frigs. Darkness of Despair, as you said, a pretty standard Dominic setup. So I'm curious about whether or not Slipners can put up a fight. It definitely looks like something that the Dami should be pretty comfortable with. Mm -hmm. But, um, you know, we're still kind of getting a feel for what is best against them. So I'm interested to see how it goes. Yeah, this MIF team really looks like it's taken right out of two years ago. Um, yeah. <laughs> it, it, it fits very well in there. Um, it is still, I think, a very good team overall. The problem is um, the support for the Slepnirs is not the best for going up against Dominixes. Mm -hmm. So they've got Slepnirs, which are going to tank pretty well against the Dominis and do a lot of damage. They're actually fine. Uh, the Hugin, the Scimitar, and the Sabres are going to be very, very vulnerable to the Sentries, as we see already a Saber yeah. down. Um, these Sentries will blast away all the support, and without them, the Slepnirs aren't going to do enough, I think. Right. Yeah, I, I yeah they're gonna have a big uphill battle, and as you can see, they're really far away too. So there should be plenty of time for them to. Yeah, both uh, teams came in at long range. Yeah, kind of plink away at the support before they have a chance to even do anything. I mean, you could maybe use the combination of the molluses with the rest of the support to put pressure on the Dart and Despair logistics or something yep. like that. But with these kind of ranges uh, and with the Dami's ease at dealing with those Sabres, I doubt that'll happen. Well, so for the Sabres uh, to survive, they're going to need great piloting from themselves and from their Scimitar in uh, Rikorus there. Now, they're actually handling right now the yeah, volley. So, so they lost so one good. Sabre, but uh, OK Cryptoc actually went down into low shields and was able to get wrapped up, was able to get a transversal up so that he isn't getting hit for full damage anymore. Um, but they're still not applying any damage. Right now, the uh, MIF team is keeping it range, which is fine for reducing damage, but it's not going to actually get them anything as we see no damage whatsoever applied to Darkness and Despair. Right. Something people are starting to do some is use range against sentries. They do have range limitations, and they're not mobile. So it's difficult for the Dommies to adjust. They can't just run you down like you know other battleships might be able to. But you also have to close on them at some point, especially now that Darkness of Despair are in the lead by getting that first kill. Like yes. They are the ones that are able to wait because if nobody engages, if nobody comes into sentry range at all, they're happy to just sit, camp their sentries, and win the match. And the lead just got a little bit bigger because they knocked down a Mollus. Uh, again, that Mollus had moved around the side. It looks like he was trying to come in behind the Darkness of Despair team, um, but just got snap killed by a bunch of uh, guards yeah. and uh, so that's going to be the danger at this point if MIF decide to stay back against these guards they're just going to get worn down they're going to lose some small ships that the simi can't keep up with and eventually darkness despair is just going to be able to kill that simi especially if they drop longer range drones right now they've got guards down they're the, the um, shortest range sentry drones the highest tracking highest damage if they were to switch to say curators or bouncers they'd be hit all the way across the arena um, something I want to comment on, although the Scimitar is starting to take some damage now. Wow, a lot of damage, actually. Yeah. He may go down really quick. He's boosting back a little bit, but um, it's not a good sign that he's taking any damage at all right now. Uh, I was going to say, you know, I see some comments occasionally about how tournament balance uh, reflects on TQ balance. Because, of mm -hmm. course, the environments are very different, but it is the same ships. You know, you're using the same ships and mods you have access to on TQ. And uh, just because the Dominixes are insanely strong here does not necessarily mean they are on TQ. They are strong on TQ, but the range limitation of the arena really helps out the sentries, which are, it does, yeah. you they're know, the have such a hard time with uh, mobility. So yep. that's a big part of why they're so strong. They don't have to warp off and back in like you would often on TQ. Yeah, exactly. They're main normal fights. So what we've been seeing while we've just been talking there is these uh, Slepnirs here for MIF have started to make their move. They're not approaching straight at the uh, Dommies. They're do playing it smart. They're keeping the transversal up a bit. They're coming in from the side, uh, coming in at an oblique angle, and they're going to try oblique. to get some damage on now. Yeah, like fancy, fancy words. What's the opposite of oblique? I don't know. Acute? Okay. Yeah, there we go. All right. And Geometry. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, right now, they've gotten on top of the Dommies. So they're going to start dealing damage, but they're also taking so much damage. Yeah. BSL <laughs> is, like, gone. There he goes. Um, so... That was a great strategy for applying damage, but then they just got within range of the um, sentries. They got uh, nuded out very heavily. They slowed down, and now we're about to see Corvin fall behind. 
Um, I really don't think MAF has a chance at this point. Um, yeah, it was it was good of like smart of them to be careful about rushing in, not to just do it willy nilly. Um, they wanted to stay back and assess the situation. They made their move. The problem is, I'm not sure there is a correct move against this. They do have damage now on the Enduros, um, so that's going to be helpful if they can kill him. But it's not going to be enough because they've just lost two. Yeah, another slip there, and they're not even going to be able to kill him. He's yeah. boosting back the rest of that. Another really dangerous thing about this setup in the you know, how they went in for the Dommies eventually, is that one of the dangers of the Dominics is that because all their damage comes from those drones, they get to use their high slots for other stuff, and so they're facing tons of neutralizers and all mm -hmm. kinds of other problems that another battleship might have to use on offense, the Dominics can use, you know, more utility-based mods, so it yep. makes it even harder than usual. And for the Slepners, it doesn't turn off their guns, nope. but it does turn off their Hardeners, turns off their prop mod, turns off their um, gang links. Um, definitely something they don't want to be. Like three dummies worth of heavy newts yeah. is a big problem. As uh, we see uh, more yeah. frigs exploding there, or more destroyers exploding for yep. MIF, and their down. last Slepnir about to follow. Um, it looks like they might get a couple kills here. Yep. They got a, already a Heron down earlier, carries now. But it's not going to be enough. They're not going to kill a Dommy at this point. These Dommies have uh, plated armor tanks, and uh, they're not going to just disappear the way that these Slepners are disappearing. Yeah, last Slepner about to drop. There he goes. So MIF in really big trouble. If they would have been able to take out that Oneros when they first dove in, they would have had maybe mm -hmm. some glimmer of hope. But they really have no way uh, to deal with the amount of damage the Dommies are doing. So... Yeah, They're in big scimitar trouble. Down scimitar as well. down. Mm -hmm. I mean, they just been ignoring the scimitar basically until now. Just, eh, we'll just kill the ship right through the reps, and it's been working fine. Tracking the Jaguar, no problem. Again, the combination of the Daredevil with the pro with the Dominixes, I really like. Um, it means that for the ships that the sentries have trouble tracking. So, like uh, like these Jaguars, these assault frigs that have very low SIG, good speed, low, and um, a bonus to the micro warp drive SIG penalty. Those once you get wet by a Daredevil, will just completely fall apart. It is a really interesting variation we haven't seen so far. Mm -hmm. The Vigil there for target painting and yeah. Daredevil's there for the strong webs. Uh, really, really nice supplement to the it's Dami DPS. Yeah, it's building on the Dami's already strength. So the right. Dominix um, doesn't do the most damage of one of these um, battleships, but right. it does apply the damage very well. It can hit very s small, fast-moving things well. It can hit at good ranges. Having the Vigil and the Daredevils accentuates that strength. Um, and allows them to just, as you see, they're very easily killing uh, these frigates. Um, just one Mollus left. Um, he's currently being chased down. He's uh, oh, he looks like he's actually a bit faster than the Daredevils, but it's not going to be enough. No, they will catch him pretty quick. There's one Daredevil going. Like, Yeah, they're about the same speed, I guess. But mm -hmm. He's heading towards the edge of the arena. Maybe he wants to uh, go past the edge of glory. That would be an honorable, honorable death. Straight out towards the edge here. And oh, he turned. What? Oh, he's dead. Yeah, there we go. All right. Great match, strong showing from Darkness of Despair, and another strong showing for Dominixes. We'll be back in just a few minutes with Ministry of Inappropriate Footwork versus the Godfathers.